name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. The high priest Alkiah informed the scribe Saphon, I have found the book of the law in the temple of the Lord. Hilkiah gave the book to Saphon, who read it. Then the scribe Saphan went to the king and reported, your servants have smelted down the metals available in the temple and have consigned them to the master workmen in the temple of the Lord. The scribe Saphan also informed the king that the priest Hilkiah had given him a book and then read it aloud to the king. When the king heard the contents of the book of the law, he tore his garments and issued this command to Hilkiah the priest. Achim, son of Sapham, Achbar, son of Mekala, the scribe Sapham, and the king's servant, Asala. Go, consult the Lord for me, for the people, for all Judah, about the stipulations in this book that have been found. For the anger of the Lord has been set fur- furiously ablaze against us, because our fathers did not obey the stipulations of this book, nor fulfill its written obligation. The king then had all the elders of Judah and of Jerusalem summoned together before him. The king went up to the temple of the Lord with all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, priests, prophets, and all the people, small and great. He had the entire contents of the book of the covenant that had been found in the temple read out to them. Standing by the column, the king made a covenant before the Lord that they would follow him and observe his ordinances, statutes, and decrees with their whole hearts and souls, thus reviving the terms of the covenant, which were written in this book. And all the people stood as the participants in the covenant. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, Teach us the way of your decrees, O Lord. Teach Teach us us the the way way of your your decrees, decrees, O Lord. Lord. Instruct me, O Lord, in the ways of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Give me discernment, that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Teach me the ways of your decree, O Lord. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Incline my heart to your decrees and not for gain. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Turn away my eyes from seeing what is vain, for your way gives me life. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your justice, give me life. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Can we please stand for the gospel acclamation? Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their truths you shall by their fruits you shall know them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Just so, every good tree bears good fruit, and a rotten tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor a rotten tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit 
will be cut down and thrown into the fire. So by their fruits, you will know them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel may our sins be wiped away. The words of Jesus are as valuable today, if not more valuable than even in his day. Uh, he, today, of course, we have people all over saying, oh, you need to be good to people, kind to people, friendly to people, generous to people. And we say, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we've always been taught. That's what, that's what the Bible tells us. What the, that's what Jesus tells us. That's true. I'm with you, friend. And then they start saying other things like, oh, don't worry about the Bible. That's just an old book. God, ah, uh, that's just a myth from the old days. You're past all of that. Ah, uh, yeah, no, no. Uh, the real virtues today are things like gay marriage and abortion on demand and uh, freedom to take whatever drugs and alcohol you like for because it's enjoyable and and uh, uh, sexual relationships. Uh, however you feel like a, attacking them is fine. And marriage, marriage is more like a, just a temporary agreement. Don't worry too much about that. There's nothing to it. That's the new virtues today. That's what they tell you. They, they start out with Nice words, good words, truths. Be good, be kind, be tolerant. And then they follow it up with, do things this way, and ow, oh, ignore God on that and that. That doesn't count for anything. And Jesus warns us. People come to us like, like wolves in sheep's clothing. They'd appear to be exactly one of us in every way but they're actually predators and we're the prey. They're actually looking to take us down, to profit off us in, in any way they can. And, um, and, and we're warned, judge them by what they do, by what they promote. Judge them by their ideas and the results of their ideas and not just the niceties that they say. And don't be drawn away from God. And don't be drawn away from the Bible. Don't be drawn away from Jesus. And don't be drawn away from the goodness in people. Don't go thinking, oh, these people are good because I, I agree with what they say. And those people are horrible and evil and I hate them because they disagree with me. All people are built good. We make bad choices, but we all make bad choices. Let us learn to forgive, but let us not be swept away by the lies that the predators in this world today tell us. Having listened attentively to the word of God, we now bring him our needs. For those called to a priestly or religious vocation, may God grant them the courage to say yes to his invitation. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in following God's commandments for the good of their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. For farmers and agricultural workers, may God bless them with a fertile growing season. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those in our faith community of Our Lady of Lords here and around the world who have recently sought the sacrament of anointing of the sick, may the graces granted in the signing with the holy oil bring relief from their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may Christ bring them into the eternal joy of heaven. With the angels and saints, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way today, of course, for everyone on our Father's Day Novena, those fathers who have gone to God, and those fathers who are still with us today, that God may pour his blessings upon them all and show them his limitless love. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray today and offer this Mass for Clemenette Hudson. May God may lift Clemenette up and hold him in his arms forever. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Our Holy Mother has told us to pray for sinners, and so we do pray for the redemption of all sinners everywhere. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as always, we pray for all the holy souls in purgatory, and most especially those souls who are abandoned in purgatory, who people no longer pray for. We pray for these, our friends in particular. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal and ever-living God, we praise your goodness. Look kindly upon these prayers we bring before you today. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make an offering of a heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. It is mingling the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments. And never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the, house of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Amen. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 What is past our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart. And what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.